This is Amy Mariscal, and I am explaining how to create a digital sustainable profit system. And these are the elements that you need to grow your sustainable profit system. We're going to do this example with the company Prosperity and Happiness Brokerage. Okay, it's a brokerage. They have a bunch of real estate, real estate agents. It's made up. <laughs> and they're in Los Angeles. Their top 20% prospects are home sellers in Los Angeles. This is very similar to what is going on here. This funnel start stops here at the easy yes offer. So that would be taking action. Okay, so the easiest offer is taking action. The lead magnets are building desire. The blog posts and the landing, well, the landing pages for the lead magnets are also building desire. So you can kind of put it here. And the ads for the ads for the blog posts and the lead magnets all are getting them aware. And the blog posts and the, the lead magnets are also building interest and then really hardcore building desire and then action. The easiest offer is your money offer. So you're getting, you're, you're getting them to take action. The first thing we need to look at are some blog posts for them because a blog post allows you to get pixels. Okay. And, and it's something that's free. You're not asking for anything. You are going to run ads to these blog posts. So you want to think about the top three blog posts that you can use to attract these home sellers in Los Angeles. How, what are they, what do they want and how can you help them get it? Um, in order to create these blog posts, you might want to use the hook and headline generator. What you do is you take a painful state. So you say, what is the painful state I want to think about. Okay, loathing, that's a pretty sucky, painful state. What's a happy state I want to think about? Hmm, wonder. Okay, so I put those two things together, loathing and wonder, to make a hook. So the hook is move from loathing and get to wonder. And we're thinking about home sellers in Los Angeles. So through the process of buying a new home or through the process of selling a home and but they could be buying too so that would both both of those would actually work but we want to focus on the sellers first we'd focus on sellers and then once you have this general idea for a hook you, it's really easy to create a headline so uh what uh, i've got a bunch of great generate headline generator tools online tools that i can show you i'll give you a couple links for those for example this is a great one portent.com slash tools slash title dash maker. You can just put in the subject here and it'll give you some ideas where selling your home is headed in the next five years. It also gives you little um, ideas of what is making this good so you can fix it and make it a little bit better if you want. And then you can just scroll through how selling your home can help you predict the future. And then what is your call to action? What are you actually going to ask them to do below the headline? So you've got the blog posts figured out with call to actions. The call to actions are going to be for your lead magnets. We're going to lead them up the funnel. Um, <clears throat> and then the you also want to get more traffic to those lead magnets. So you're going to make some ads for the lead magnets. Um, and that's another way to get people aware. And then you're going to need some landing pages for the lead magnets. And on these landing pages, you can also collect more pixels. So you're gonna get some pixels, whether or not they leave their email address, but the goal is to get them to say yes to the lead magnet and get their email address. Name and email, let's say. Name and email. Okay, and then once you have their, you, they read the lead magnet or they watch the lead magnet or whatever it is, they consume the lead magnet and you want them to actually buy something. So for a brokerage, this is a little bit tough, right? Because there's not really like an easy yes offer. Basically, you're like buying a home or selling a home. Um, so you kind of have to make something up here. You're kind of going to have to get creative and say like, what would people pay for? I, would, I like to aim for $7. You could aim for $3. That's a lovely number. $7. Basically, you just want to get them to... Basically, once they take out their wallet and they spend a little bit of money on you, that is kind of the sign like they fully trust you, right? They're not going to do that if they don't trust you. 
So this is a big, big milestone, this easy yes offer. So you wanna make it as easy as possible for them to pass. And then you have this beautiful sustainable profit system. And you can, this is a endless supply of leads because once you, now all of these things, you're there. this is designed for you to actually A-B test, right? So <laughs> that's why we've got two of each ads for each blog post, um, at least I uh, like three blog posts. It's, uh, you you need more stuff to get people aware than you need to get them to desire and take action. So, uh, you know, this is just the base, right? We're going to build more and more and more systems as you scale up, but first we've got to get the, the first system, right? And the way to do that is iterative development, right? So you're going to AB test everything. You're going to see which ad, these are going to be the same, almost the same ad, except for the picture is going to be different. Almost the same ad, except for the picture is going to be different. Almost the same ad, except for the picture is going to be different. And then you're going to find out which picture worked best, and you're going to stick with those pictures for each one. And then you're going to be able to test, um, you're starting to test which blog post is more effective as well. And all kinds of little tests all up in here, so that is awesome. Okay, so the first goal is just to actually just to come up what you're gonna do for each thing, okay? So the blog post, what is gonna be the title of your blog post? Come with an idea. Once you have an idea, check it off. Check it off for each one, or put it in here. What's the blog post title? Blog post title, put it in here, okay? And then once you have written it, then you wanna put a star, man. You wanna put a star because that is, once not it's written, but once it's finished and pre released, let's say, then you put a star. All right, this is like big time. Okay. <laughs> and the goal is to fill up your whole image with stars. And then once you get the stars in there, you wanna iterate and improve each and every one. I hope that helps. Rocket, baby.